Welcome to the second Olympics edition of the Ludus Analytics Spotlight Series. I'm your host, Hannah Stolba, and today we are looking into the women's rugby pools heading into their first round of competition at the Olympics this evening. Starting us off, Pool A has Great Britain, New Zealand, Kenya, and Russian Olympic Committee competing for a trip to the quarterfinals. New Zealand has a strong chance to go undefeated, but will face some difficult matchups to test their medal against the ROC in Great Britain. A couple of key players to watch. New Zealand's Michaela Blythe. Oh, great. That's it back. Williams, but it sits up for Blythe. Oh, Blythe with that familiar footwork. And Great Britain's Jasmine Joyce. All the player at the same time, beautifully read. Cucker it was in the tackle, but that's going to open it up for Joyce. Going to sneak out right up through the middle. And they will have a little flourish at the end. And Wales are well deserved. Excellent. Both prolific try scores. Pool B is made up of Canada, France, Fiji, and Brazil. This is probably the least predictable pool as Canada, France, and Fiji will all be vying for the guaranteed top two finish in the pool to move on to quarterfinals. In all likelihood, success in this grouping will come down to who is gelling the best after having put the tournament off for an entire year. Players to watch for Canada, Ghislaine Landry, the all-time leading scorer on the Women's 7 Series. In women's pool C, Australia, China, Japan, and the USA will all be pushing to finish in the top two to solidify a spot in the quarterfinals. Australia have ebbed and flowed since their gold medal finish in Rio five years ago and have left their all-time leading scorer Elliot Green home from Tokyo, but they are certainly in contention to repeat on the podium. The USA should be Australia's biggest competition in this pool, and both teams would do well to put as many points on the board as possible during pool play. Players to watch. Australia's Emma Tanagato. Woman with the skills at Trill, working ahead for Tanagato. Gets the bounce. What can she do with this? Gets in the backfield. Look at the transfer of the ball. In, away, in, away. It's beautiful from Tonegato. It's a clinic. And USA's Christy Kirsch. Tavina to Tamati on the field for New Zealand at 11, having to shadow across the power runner of Christy Kirsch. He bends her off. They're still chasing New Zealand. Kirsch has got too much gas. Christy Kirsch is a star in the making for the USA. Quarterfinals will be determined by taking the top two teams from each pool at the end of the pool stages, along with the two best third place teams from each of those two pools. Seeding is based on wins and losses, as well as points scored for and points scored against for each team. Rugby sevens can be an unforgiving game, with a culmination of four, and in this case, five years of work, all balanced on your performance over 14 minutes. These pools make for some really exciting competition and some interesting matchups. Tell us who you think will be on the podium in the comments below.